I'm just trying to see if Zoro's alive. So let's just cut to the chase. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching another episode of One Piece. I am so excited to be wrapping up this series here with y'all today. We only have three more episodes, I'm pretty sure. And I can't believe that because it feels like it just started. I feel like it's just starting to get like really, really good. I'm getting really emotionally attached to all the characters. I love Luffy. And I'm really excited to see where this takes us. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content. I post two to three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And make sure you also check out my Twitch. I am live streaming Baldur's Gate right now. And if you're not on Twitch, then go check out my gaming channel because I'm putting up a lot of my VODs on there and it's nice to see me not scream at a screen. I will be still staring at a screen, I just won't be screaming as much. If you guys want to check out the full-length uncut commentary to this episode, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Easy, easy. Yeah, he's not dead. I'm not taking no for an answer. These are all like fun. All I'm saying is that she freaking came back. Well, I can tell just by looking at that. That, that rumor light needs a lot more oregano. Oregano's for savages. Oregano's for savages. My friend is dying. Oh. You always told me to feed anyone who's hungry. I don't see how this is any different. Aww. True. Fine. Yeah, someone's life's on the line, bro. A fresh yellow tail. Bigger the better. A yellow tail? Just do it already. This guy's gonna freaking heal Zoro with a yellow tail, and that's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Are you kidding? He needs a doctor. Do you want to save your swordsman friend or not? I'm so happy Nami came back and decided to stay. Is that the sterilized wound? Hell no. That'd be a waste of really good liquor. <laughs> he said, this is for me. What is he doing? I'm so confused. Fish skin. Fish skin? That's gotta be not good for the wounds. Fish skin helps staunch the wounds, helps the flesh a lot faster. That seems very unsanitary to me. You have to find a way to keep him tethered to our world. Now let me give him a kiss. Didn't hear from me. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, your friends are here. Nami was fully gonna run away, but she came back for you. <laughs> Where's Luffy? At the moment, I don't know. I decided to let him go. Without our immunity. I would still do precisely what I want. No more and no less. Ooh, that's kind of badass though, Mihawk. It's to see what becomes of that young man when he enters the Grand Line. <laughs> He's his grandson. Do you think he low-key cares about him and doesn't want Luffy to die? It's like not only does he want him to not be a pirate, he doesn't want to see him get killed, maybe? I don't know. Maybe your grandson will be the one to find That's the one. That's what I'm saying! Kobe now knows! Ooh! <laughs> oh, oh, you really made a mess real quick. That's kind of impressive. That was done in like 0. 0.2 seconds. Mmm, something smells delicious. Well, can't let that yellow tail go to waste. Never waste food. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, love Sanji. I love fish. I just need to get Sora Sora ready for him. Oh. But when he wakes up. He can't resist food either, but he's looking out for Zoro. But I also want him to sleep so that his wounds can heal. Luffy's the best captain ever. After all that fighting, he must be awfully thirsty. But, you know, he's probably also tired, so we should just let him rest. Oh, Luffy can't really deal with it. Zeph once told me that making decisions is what separates a captain from the rest of his crew. And he was one of the best pirate captains that ever sailed the seas. Were you with his crew or something? Not exactly. You were a pirate too? Passenger ship orbit East Blue Sea nine years ago. Those tables ain't gonna bust themselves. Oh, he was a bus boy? You're never gonna serve fancy stuff like that. I will when I get to the old blue. Yeah, you will. Oh, I love how all these kids have like dreams. And we're following them. Oh my god, something tells me I'm gonna love Sanji. No, 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 no. Oh, he fixed it? Need your regular. I'm gonna for savages! <laughs> That's so funny. I'd rather die than have you seasoned my food. That's not half bad. Better than anything you can make your 
Bang! You've got a sharp tongue on you, boy. I'm not gonna die here. Not until I find the old blue. What does the Luke Clark know about the old blue? Oh! That's crazy, but he probably saved that boy's life. Sunk both our ships. They're all dead. Except for us. The two best left standing. This is all the food we got. So eat slow. There's no more after this. You should be glad that I'm giving you anything at all. Don't you bother me unless you see a ship. Wow, these two go way back. Poor Sanji going through the thick of it. Is this why he always wants to feed a hungry person? Because he's been hungry before and he doesn't want anyone to experience that? That hurts my heart. Sanji. Good shot. I love that. Oh, yeah, I'm so right. He's like so tempted to eat. He knows what it feels like to be hungry. What a good written little backstory on this character. Day 25! That was a serious jump. I feel so bad for him, this poor boy. Dang, he saw one too. Day 50? He was on this rock for two freaking months? Where's this Red Boots guy? You guys ever talk ever? You ever check in on each other? Oh my gosh, day 70, over two months now. He's definitely out, clean out of food. He's like crying. You still have some food. You gotta give me some. Is it no food? Oh my gosh, it's not food at all. He ate nothing. He gave everything to the kid. Where is it? There's no food. How are you still alive? You're like. He ate it? There's no way. Oh my god. You ate your own leg? You gave me all the food. That's crazy. Why? You don't even know me. Why would you do that for a stranger? Because he cares about you, kid. Shut up. Just say thank you. Because we are that plan. That's crazy. You share the same dream as me. The old blue. It's real. And if I can't find it, well, then maybe you can. <laughs> and I'm going to need you to fulfill that dream. Stop it. Stop it right now. You have any idea what that's like? Having someone lose a limb to save your life. That's why he has a peg leg. He could have let me die on that rock. Instead, he acted like a captain. That's crazy. He gave all his food to the kid. I need both arms. Oh, Luffy. He ate his own leg to save Sasha. When you are in charge, you have to make the tough decision. Why does everybody keep saying that? Because you could have saved Zoro. He didn't have to fight Mihawk, but you let it happen. Oop. Why didn't you stop him? Because it was his dream, girl. What's your dream? Tell me your dream. He might die, Luffy. But I'd do anything to save him. Aww. Anything. You're gonna kill me with this. Are you kidding me? This whole episode is gonna make me cry, I swear. But isn't there something that you want? Something more. Not everyone gets to follow their dreams. What's your dream? I gotta know what her dream is. I'm literally gonna. Oh, this show's so good. It's everything I want and more. Sorry about all this. You already know the reason, don't you? You know Luffy is my grandson. I spent years trying to train him. You're an exemplary cadet. But well, the two of you couldn't be more different. Luffy's. Luffy is. Uh, he was a little angsty as a kid, as we have seen. He likes. He's very free spirited. Luffy's always been a pirate. And he always will be a pirate. No matter how many assassins you send after him, he'll never change. And what do you suggest? That I let him be a damn fool pirate? That'd be the worst thing, sir. Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way all along. I'll address him oh, after the watch. Yes, sir. Oh, Kobe's going to think that he saved Luffy's life or something, I swear, or like stop this hunt on Luffy. But he's going to freaking be like, yeah, we, I know I said I wanted him alive, but. JK, just as long as he's not a pirate, he's gonna be totally okay with it. I'm afraid there are no more tables. I see a bunch of tables. Oh, goodness. Oh, no one likes them. So they do, do they all know who he is? I'm looking for a pirate in a straw hat. 
goes by the name of Luffy. He has something that belongs so to me. Everyone is looking for Luffy, I guess? That's not familiar. But why don't I fix oh. your meal? He's covering for him. Goodness. Everyone wants Luffy, I guess. He was the guy that went to uh, Buggy, right? Or was like Bugging Buggy. <laughs> Get it? Bugging Buggy. Earlier in like episode two or three. What would I say? Whatever pops in your head. Speak from the gut. My gut hasn't been so great lately. Oh. Hey, Zoro. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Let me start over. Let me start over. Oh, Luffy. It's... Luffy! Luffy! The Harlong pirates are at Baradier. We have to leave now. What? Baradier is in danger. I need to be there. All right, I'm coming with you. They are hunting you. We need to run. This isn't your fight. Why would you do that? You fed us. Oh. Look, I know this crew. Yeah, and you helped freaking my friend, Zoro. You stay with the ship and protect the map. It's gonna be safe with you. It's gonna be safe with you, except it's totally not, because she's still plotting against them. I wonder if she's gonna be tempted to run away now. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I hear you're looking for me. This is the pirate I've heard so much about. I was expecting someone bigger. I get that a lot. So was I. Ooh, the Luffy! That was a good one, dude. He's getting good at that. He's getting good at being like kind of cool, kind of slick. Hey, a straw hat. Did you miss me? Burpee? Burpee? <laughs> he didn't remember his name either. I've got eyes and ears everywhere. <gasps> Literally had an ear in his hat. You heard everything? Everything. And that got old quick because you idiots have no idea what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Give him kind of break. I oh, wait, no, not back in the back. I love Buggy so much. First of all, he said shits. I don't even know if I can say that and put it in the commentary, so Reese might have to mute that, but shits, are you kidding me? That's so funny. <laughs> Buggy's actor is 10 out of 10. Okay, but like Luffy fixed his hat like 10 times and he didn't see an ear. When I get my grand line, man. You're gonna have to fight me for it. <gasps> Who the heck? Zeph, my man. <laughs> Oh! Don't you dare touch his peg leg! You don't know the weight behind that peg leg. Oh! Oh, Sanji, you can fight? He gets cooler and cooler! <laughs> and Usopp was hiding under a table with his slingshot. I love that. That was a cool little zoom too. Oh, good camera work is everything. I told you in the bar I didn't have any friends. The truth is I couldn't let myself have them because I always end up hurting the people closest to me. And that's what you're about to do now is run away with the Grand Line map. Zoro, now would be a good time to wake up. But why? But why do you hurt the people around you? Ow. 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 I guess that's like a perk of being rubbery. You can really take a punch. And even a bullet can't get Luffy. Yeah, I, I love all the fight scenes in every episode. Is that all you got? Yeah, Eggamon! Taunt him! Yes! Long way. Nami? I have the map. I got it for you just like I said I would. <gasps> oh, yeah. I only joined up with you so I could steal the map. Exposed. Sister Nami is a loyal member of the Arlong Pirates. I thought you weren't a pirate. We have the map. Let's go. Except she likes them. Why waste your time killing a devil fruit eater? Let the sea do it for you. Ah, oh, she wants to save his life. She doesn't want Luffy to die. <gasps> Is that Sanji? He's literally the best. Do we all collectively as a human body say that we're all in love with Sanji? Like we think he's the best. We all have a crush on Sanji. Agree to disagree? This is like facts, purely objective. We are all in love with Sanji, right? She's gone. She's a member of Arlong's crew. Yeah, she was lying to you this whole time, Luffy. She can't be. Aw, poor Luffy. Except she is. 
proud of your efforts to apprehend these miscreants. They are becoming more than a nuisance and must be treated as such. I like your hat. No more half measures. The straw hats and their captain will never surrender. We will capture them and they will be brought to justice. Yeah! Oh. I thought they were going to say they were going to kill him. Yeah, wasn't that your thing all along? You were going to capture them anyway? I don't need you to do that. What is your problem? Me. You're the one with a problem. I've already told you I'm not going to be a waiter. You're not going to be anything. Not if you stay here. Oh. But Sanji feels like he owes him. Well, at least I'm not the one who goes on moaning about the old blue. If it means that much to you, go find it. You want me to quit? Quit and you're staying here. Oh, he didn't eat his own leg for you to be here. It's one thing to have a dream. It's another to go after it. Oh, that's so good. Fine, fine, fine. But Sandra just feels like he owes him probably and he's had enough of that. He said, stop, you don't owe me. I didn't do this for nothing. Now go live your dream. Oh, I literally can't. That's so good. That's so good. Oh. Okay, Luffy, you got this. You got this. Say what you gotta say to Zoro. You sure missed a big fight. Those fishmen guys were tough. You would have loved it. Only I kind of messed it up. Oh, you didn't mess it up. And now I lost Nami. I lost the Grand Line map. No, you didn't. It's not your fault. I didn't know what to say before. But I know what to say now, and it's so simple. I need you, Zoro. gonna keep talking or let me get some sleep. <laughs> Zoro, you're not dead! Oh! That's so good. Our crew has been doing anything wrong. You acted like a captain. She'll be back. She'll be back. I have hope. I, Roro Noah Zoro, am about to stand by your side from now until the end. Until we find the One Piece or die trying. <laughs> For my captain movie. Oh, that was so good. I love it. The friendship is everything. It's alive! Oh, oh, told him I said, oh. you better not mess with the straw hat. Yeah, that's what you were doing. What do we do now? Plot a course for the Grand Line? We have to get Nami back. We can't do it without her whole crew. Yay. And we have to get Sanji. We're going after Nami. Yay! Good, good. I'm so glad. Oh. Zoro vowing officially to be the first mate is everything to me. I heard you guys need a cook. <gasps> yes, yes. Yeah! Yes, we do! <laughs> oh, this is great. I love it. Welcome aboard. Yay! Sanji's gonna try the Character. Just kidding. I think Zara's still the best character, but ah, Hey Sanji, you keep your feet dry. Aww. You know all these years living under your roof, cooking at your restaurant. I owe you my life. Aww. Thank you for putting up with my all these years, old man. I owe you my life. That's so cute. I'll never forget you, Zeph. That's so sad. What the heck? I love how this character made me cry and it's been two episodes. He was literally introduced last episode. Same with Zeph. And can we also mention the continuity of the broken back of the ship real quick from the from the marine little invasion a few few episodes ago? I love that. So good. We love good continuity. <coughs> oh, we got Buggy. Nice. They just left him behind. Hello, boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, now you gotta lead us to the freaking Arlong's crew. Poor Buggy is going through the thick of it, being tossed from every which way, every freaking crew. <laughs> He's just trying to make it. He's just trying to survive at this point. Wow, that was episode six of One Piece. And that has got to be my favorite one thus far because just pure emotion, this is everything. It was empowering, it was emotional, it was inspiring, it was everything. Oh, gut-wrenching, honestly, the whole Sanji arc and Zoro coming back and like just, Ugh, and then the whole Luffy's what it means to be captain and making the decisions and how it's a tough job and it's it's so good. This show is really surprising me in the way that it was able to portray these narratives in just eight episodes. 
and while doing it in a really cute and entertaining way and in a way that where we can fall in love with the characters and it doesn't feel too rushed or too slow or too lost and everywhere and like a mess it's really nicely packaged for us in this colorful colorful series i thoroughly enjoyed that i'm really excited to check out the next two episodes and see how this all wraps up thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed that commentary make sure you leave it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet already so you stay tuned on all my content and don't forget to check out my last video if you guys want to check out the full-length uncut commentary to this episode make sure you check out my patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash tv shows that i do on this channel all right y'all have the best day ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye Thank you.